it's still here how to use an iterator. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to build your own iterator, and we're going to be using an inner class to do that. So you see how that is done. So basically, I want to build a class uh, that has an iterator. I'm just going to call it a bag of T. So it's a generic class. And uh, finish. It's just going to be a wrapper around an array list. So I'm going to do that. The array list of T and its data. And I need to uh, import that. Constructor public bag. And uh, data is a new array list of T. And I'm also going to need an add method. And all it does is data.add e. There you go. So just the basic, I don't even have it removed, but that's fine. Um, just a basic bag that it wraps around an array list. Now I need an iterator. And like I said, I'm going to be using inner class. So I'm going to define the iterator to be a inner class. I call it a bag iterator. Um, like that, and you see, I can do that. So I can. This is how you do an inner class, and I have a public class within this class. I have another class that I'm defining, and you do this when you want. You only want really this class to be used by the outer class, and usually when the inner class is really fairly small. Um, so it's just to keep your things organized, and so other people don't use your inner class. And it has to be parameterized, and it's going to implement implement the iterator interface, which is a built-in interface. And of course, I got to import that from Java util. I right? said so Java util iterator got added there, and there we go. Now I see there's a there's a problem in that I haven't implemented the interface, so Eclipse is telling me. You know, you haven't implemented this iterator interface. Do you want to do that now? You want to implement these three methods, has next, next, and remove. I'm going to double click on that, say yes, give it to me. And boom, Eclipse, you know, inserts all this code, you know, basically just a signature for those three methods. The actual code is not there. So I have to add that myself. That's why you have a big to do there. I'm going to need. Uh, an int index, right? So the way the iterator is going to work, it has to keep track of where we are in the data, the array list, right? And that's going to be done by the index, which I'm going to set when I construct a new iterator. Uh, I'm going to set that to zero, so we start at zero. And now, okay, so now we have the has next. So has next returns a boolean that has to be true when there's more things to iterate. You remember the way an iterator works. I'm going to call this is a boolean. I'm going to call has next and then next. Give me a next element, next element until has next is false. So when is has next false? Well, has next is false when the index is bigger than the data size, right? So if, the, if there's say five elements in the data when the index is five, um, um, then we're done. Uh, we're, we're beyond the edge. If there's uh, one element and the index is one, uh, then we're. Uh, what well, I got this wrong. It has to be true when the index is less than right. So when the index is less than uh, the data size, then this is true. So then we do have a next element. So if the data size is 1 and the index is 0, 0 is less than 1, we're OK. If the data size is 1 and the index is 1, this whole thing is false. And uh, we return false because there is no next, because if there's so if size is one, and then only index zero works. Got it? 
I think I got it right this time. Uh, okay, the next one is going to return the next element. And uh, I'm going to do data dot uh, get index. All right, so I just want to return the element that's the next one, which is the one that's pointed to by the index. I'm going to do command one here. So I got typecast this down to t and then another one uh, i'm gonna just suppress those warnings i'm not gonna talk about that well you know warnings are just warnings you can suppress them um and so they go away the little yellow lines um so uh but you see all this is doing is it's gonna look at the data and get the one with the index index and the index is our pointer as we're moving down the iterator uh, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna start testing this. See if this is stuff is gonna work. So I'm gonna create a bag of integers. Um, B or just bag is a new bag of integer. And then I'm gonna add some things to that bag. I'm gonna add a number four and a number eight and. Add the number 16, oops, 16. And then I'm gonna print out the bag. And I do that, I get a, well, that's the standard way of showing an object. So that means I need to go back up here and uh, put a pretty two string method, public string, two string method. And all that is going to do is return data dot two string, and I'm going to run that again. And there we go. I got the items inserted, but I haven't used the iterator yet, so let's try that. So I'm going to need an iterator just like before. I want to do for iterator just like up there, integer again. Uh, iterator is, and now it's the bag. And oh, we haven't done the iterator method. Okay, so let's go back over there. Once I have the iterator class defined here, I need to implement an iterator method on the main class, not on that inner class, right? So I'm gonna do public iterator t iterator. I know it would be confusing, a lot of iterators there, but and that's going to return a new bag iterator t that's it so remember this is a method of the main class not of the inner class uh and uh did i put that in the right place uh, i believe not Leave that guy needs to move down here because it has to be in the main class. There we go. So, okay, now it's no longer on the inner class, it's on the main class, the uh, bag. So it's not in the bag iterator. And all it does is it's an iter the method is called iterator and it creates a new instance of that inner class with the same t parameter. And returns that if you remember the constructor for this class we're going to set the index to zero so that's going to set that index to zero so now i have an iterator here i can do that and then i can say it has next and semicolon and then i can print out it that next yeah. basically the same as before you can see up there and I'm gonna run that, see what happens in oh four 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 four. Uh yeah, what happened is uh so it's printing the first element. What happened is that I forgot. So this is gonna return index. The next method returns the it, the, the element at index, but it also has to increase the index as such. So I forgot those two plus pluses there. I'm going to run this again, and there we go, uh, 486. So I printed uh, all the elements. Uh, so 
there you go. Uh, we have implemented uh, the back iterator we have, that has next and the next methods. What we don't have is a remove method. Um, so we could do that for least because say data dot remove index. And uh, that's going to remove uh, the current index. So I can say bag dot uh, test. I'm going to do a little bit of testing here. I need to uh, copy this. I have my iterator. Oops. Iterator there. Uh, it dot uh, next. And then it dot remove. And then print out the bag. And we see what happens here. So I re ended up removing uh, the eight, right? Uh, which is actually not what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to remove when you do this. Uh, the way the, the, the iterator should work is this should have removed the first element. So I actually wanted to remove index uh, minus one. Uh, and I can run that and now it removed the, the right element. Uh, so there's still a problem then, you know, if uh, this should only happen if uh, index is bigger than zero, right? We only want to remove that. So just so it doesn't crash if somebody calls it with that uh, at the first time. So there you go. Um, that's uh, the bag, the bag and the bag iterator. And this is just generally how you implement an iterator using generic. Uh, this T in here is actually overriding this T here. As if I highlight here, it tells me the parameter T is hiding the type T. And we can get into that if you want to, but it, in this case, it doesn't really matter uh, because the only one who creates the inner class is this guy here, and he's passing in the same argument. So it's just less confusing to use the same variable name, I, I think. But there you go.